So this is something I would have shown in the end screen of the last video, but in the time since I did that that one floats request at the um, at the end of the last video, uh, actually a lot of stuff has grown in in the fields over here, and this is quite interesting. Can I talk to you again, and will you let me harvest? Um, they still need some time to grow. Okay, I feel honestly like for aesthetic reasons, I would not harvest these. I would just let these let these sit here in in the fields here so that we can like have it feel like something's actually going on up there but uh nevertheless hello all you crazy people out there my name is dragonite welcome back to pokemon legends arceus i do not remember if i introduced this video already or not so last time uh some new people have showed up in town and we have walked around a bit to see what's new and this time we can go and talk to the commander, who is going to be found all the way at the top of... All the way at the top of this building, and I'm gonna have to go and run all the way up to the top of this building. And see what he's got to say to us. I feel like I'm either gonna be in trouble or I'm gonna get a promotion, and I can't tell which. Alright, Komodo. I commend you on your successful research of the Pokémon living in the Crimson Mirelands. Your next orders are to begin the survey of the Cobalt Coastlands. Okay, we are not going to the northern part of the country next, as I predicted. Uh, I will let you know in advance, there are no Pokemon nobles in the Cobalt, Coast Cobalt Coastlands. Allow me to explain. We did have a lord in the Coastlands until a few years ago. A tragedy took him for us. Now, we've had reports of people seeing strange, shadowy figures on the island the lord used to call his home. Uh, we have also received word from both the Survey Corps, and, uh, the Security Corps, and the Supply Corps. It seems that some of the members were attacked by a ghost while out gathering materials around Fire Spit Island. Uh, these are serious concerns, and moreover, my clan just can't tolerate the desecration of our la late Lord's seat. Normally, I'd entrust this to our Warden in the Coastlands, but her situation is... complicated. I trust my intentions are clear by now. I hereby order you to investigate these reports. Alright, the Lordless Island is the next chapter. I keep forgetting that I have to hit A to make that mission text go away. I'll meet you in the Cobalt Coastlands. I do love it in there. It's a beautiful area. Oh, and I know this must be a bewildering situation to be dropped into. Something just, like, fell out of the air next to me, and it's just a, um, piece of dust from something, and I thought it was, like, a spider. Uh, that's interesting. I'm sorry, Dragonite. Think nothing of it. Dragonite is a talented and hard-working member of the Galaxy team. I'm sure she will sort things out. Indeed, Dragonite called the Lord of the Woods. I've seen both her strength and her kindness firsthand. Uh, good to know. Silene, you are you still look annoyed at me. Uh, the next area for you to investigate will be the Cobalt Coastlands. It is farther afield than the Crimson Mirelands, much farther, and the path is long. With your current rank, you should be capable of braving the Cobalt Coastlands. You know your mission. Investigate Fire Spit Island. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna get on, be on our way. And I uh, just one one quick survey of the area. I don't see anything new. Uh, no, by by new I mostly mean side quests. There's probably gonna be a fight going out the door. And it's probably going to be either against Ray or against that Bolo guy. Possibly both. Oh, Leanne. Okay. Uh, though I suppose it'd be expected that I'd run into you in this field. Where are you going to study Pokemon next? Um, I've already forgotten, so let's just say Fire Spit Island because that sounds exciting. Uh, perhaps you'll run into our Pelina. Uh, she's in a bit of a situation over there. She's a warden, and, and yet she has no noble to see to. Um, there are even some people in the Pearl Clan that speak ill of her. They're not to her face. Oh, but do forgive me. Perhaps I should have, uh, shouldn't be airing dirty laundry. A piece of advice, then, as an apology for wasting your time. Some Pokémon are strongly affected by certain stones, which hold mysterious power. Uh, I assume you are talking about evolutionary stones. Oh, yeah. Uh, with the right stone, you can even evolve some Pokémon. You need look no further than Cleaver for proof of that. Well, Cleaver would evolve by Metal Coat. At least, that's what we've been what we've been used to uh, from previous games. I don't know if that's changed. Uh, maybe Metal Coat is a little bit too uh, advanced for um for this time period. Uh, we seem 
what would this be? Like a medieval, medieval era in terms of technology. It's not like we're we're still stuck in the like the Bronze Age or anything. We've got metal objects, um, but it doesn't seem to be common that you would just use metal to to do this, that, and the other thing. All right, the stones uh, you find throughout Hisui will be very important. There's even a tale of stone that contains the power of creation, the very same power Almighty Sinnoh used to create the universe. I trust you'll take my advice to heart and not underestimate how important stones can be to help grind this fact into you here. I'll give you some rather handy stones and things that I found. Grip pebbles. Raise the effort level of one of a Pokemon's stats. Okay, so that's going to be like a vitamin. I think someone mentioned these earlier. Uh, it can only be used if the effort level is at least is at least level 6 and no greater than level 8. Okay, um, I don't know what that means. I could probably find out if I went into the menu and looked around, but I don't know if I'm going to because I'm probably not going to remember um, regardless. Mysterious Gravel that can raise... Okay. So this is... Grit Gravel is like the weaker version of the Grit whatever. Um, the Ginkgo Guild... All right. Was there a side quest that involved grit? I feel like there was. All right, I, I didn't see any. I didn't see any side quests that involved grit, but um, maybe it was a crafting recipe or something. Anyway, uh, we are gonna go out the east side of the island, east east side of uh, Sinnoh, and would this be where the Pokemon League would have been? Oh no, you know what this is? This is the volcano. This is like the um. The Battlegrounds area from uh, Diamond, Pearl, Platinum. This is a uh, not-to-scale map, I guess. Anyway, we can travel over there. Um, the Pokemon League, I think, would have been more towards, like, the top of the hand thing. The hand-shaped peninsula. Very nice. That arch back there looks rather imposing. Cobalt Coastlands, a simply lovely corner of Hisui. Sea and uh, sky as far as the eye can see. What kinds of Pokemon await us here, I wonder? Water types, flying types, perhaps? Ooh, can't I simply can't wait to study them all. You do have a camera. All right, got that. Now, I'm sure you're just as excited as I am to reach to research this area's Pokemon, but let's not forget that you have a mission to accomplish. So any questions before you get started? Um, yeah, where am I going? Seems like a good first question to ask. Indeed, Firespot Island is an offshore volcano. Good to know. You'll need to cross the sea to reach it. I'd advise you to speak to a fellow called Iskin. Uh, he's one of Diamond Clan's wardens and will surely help you find your way. Okay. Let's see. This is Rydia, correct? Who's standing here waiting for me? I do love the flute. It feels as if its tones carried to the very ends of space, but here I am and so are you, so I'm, now I'm going to focus everything I have in battling you. Okay, uh, we are going to fight. Very good, you who have come to see the vast space beyond the rift, here I come. And you know what I still haven't done is I still haven't switched Teddy Ursa into my party. I really got to do that after this. That's a Glaceon. And we're going to be starting off with a Haunter. And... Okay, Eevee probably has Bite. Um, I'm going to switch into who can, who can take care of, I guess that's going to be Quilava. No, Quilava. Um, right trigger to switch. There we go. So we're going to be switching in, um, Quilava and Eevee and possibly Glaceon also, I'm not sure, probably has Bite as established. I'm going to Flame Whale you and hopefully take care of the more, the bigger threat first. Quick attack. Okay. Eevee is not paying the slightest attention. Good job, Eevee. 
Uh, my offensive stats are lowered. Hopefully, I will be able to take care of the Glaceon, and that's gonna... That's not gonna matter. So even though I'm at minus one on the attack, and the special attack for that matter, Agile style... Okay, um, have fun with that. You're gonna use Quick Attack again, and... Hmm... You're only level 15. I'll use Flame Mool on you. Even though I'm at minus one, that shouldn't matter. I guess it didn't matter. Probably would have been able to 1-it KO if not for that. Alright. Flame Will. Uh, last one, and we are going to land a critical hit, and we are going to defeat Eevee. And that's that's it for Iridia. We're what, like 22 episodes into this Let's Play, and this is like the fourth competitive Pokemon battle we've had? Cool. Now I feel better. The world is vast and I am small within it. Thank you. Allow me to heal your Pokemon. Alright, thank you very much. That does save me a bit of time. And your shoes are shaped like Pokeballs. Even though, like, Pokeballs are a recent invention, your shoes are still shaped like them. Alright. Uh, where were we? I can't afford to look weak in front of the Diamond Clan's leader or your commander. Uh, but in truth, I sometimes wonder how I've ended up with the burdens I bear. You see, we all have a warden in the coastlands, a lovely woman named Polina. But she tends no lord or lady, and she will not raise a successor to, successor to fill the late lord's empty seat, either. Some people have started to question her worthiness to be warden at all. But Lena, that is to say, Polina, she's very dear to me, no matter what anyone might say. We were both running to become leader of the Pearl Clan, we strove to surpass one another, but she taught me a great deal, too. Having said this... I have a small favor to ask you. Please help her raise the Pokemon she looks after into the true heir to his father, the late Lord. With the help of your strength, I think our late Lord's heir will grow into a worthy successor, and if he succeeds, he should silence Selena's naysayers. I don't know if anyone I'd trust more to help this, uh, to help with this more than the person who helped the Pearl Clan by quelling Cleaver's frenzy. I, I'm just looking at that tree that's shaking in the background. You'll be able to find Lena up on the headland. Uh, head down this hill and turn left. You should find a slope leading up onto the ridge. Alright. First order of business. Not far enough. First order of business is to see what's in here. Wormadam! Alright, let's fight a Wormadam. Alright, so I have got myself a Wormadam. I am going to, uh... Switch out some of my Pokemon. And I uh, I did realize that when I had Floatzel water the garden, uh, Floatzel actually stayed behind in the garden. And uh, Floatzel is still in town and not on my team. And I'm just going to deposit you somewhere. I think I said... Where are you? Teddy Ursa. Uh, level 29, 27, 27. You have the highest attack. Despite being uh, level 27, I'm gonna put you in my team. Haunter, like I said, I'm not really feeling like using a Haunter. Um, I've used Gardevoir and Gallade in the past. Actually, I don't know if I have used a Gardevoir in um in a Let's Play. I've, I've used them both just like casually. Uh, I might consider using a Rolts again, but I'd rather put something on my team that I like haven't. haven't used before in a Let's Play. Um, I don't have a ground type. You know what? Hippopotas. Alright, level 22, 24, 21. I think you're going to have the highest attack, so let's, let's bring you on board. And... My six team member shall be outstanding, I think. Alright. So we can, we can get on our way. Uh, let's see. Can I climb up here? This is one of those slopes that I feel like I'm almost able to climb up. Yeah, there we go. Um, I will... Let's give Teddy Ursa some experience. Uh, Hippopotas is going to get most of her experience from uh, fighting in battles anyway. I don't have space for whatever that was that I got from that tree. Probably a berry. There's a million kinds of berries in this game. Oh, you know what? That's something I did not do, is see if I can upgrade my inventory space. Hang on. Um, That's not what I meant to do. Is there, like, a help menu or something? 
All right, you know what? I don't feel like going back to town and seeing if I can do that now. Um, maybe if I remember, I'll do that for the next time. Uh, 700 meters in that direction. We've got a bit of a walk ahead of us. Um, is there a nice way to get up there? Or do I just have to, like, rough it up the mountain? I might actually just have to, like, rough it up the mountain. That's okay, because I'm not going there right now anyway. Um, let's see, there's a Mothin. I see another Tangela. I see uh, a couple of these piles of, of grass. Uh, what, by the way, was it that I had to throw my Pokemon at if I wanted to get wood that I could use to craft that Poke doll or whatever? I don't have space for that. Um, spoiled Apricorn. No, not a great loss. Anyway, I would like I would like to find wood somewhere. Scorpy. Um, let's see. If I were to just like chuck a heavy ball at you. Okay, I'm, I'm under attack. Alright, too late for that. Um, yes, I know. Teddy Ursa, deal with it. Teddy Ursa, I said deal with it. Thank you. There's a lost statue on the ground. And with that, we have caught a Scorpy. And seen some items that I don't have space to pick up, which is annoying. Someone is ready to evolve already. Hang on. Um, one, I can turn in the lost and found. Cool, thank you. Um, two. Uh, I should probably heal, which I've done now. Uh, Luxio is ready to evolve. Alright, into a Luxray. Already, huh? That's cool. First, uh, first full evolution. I haven't honestly gotten to use much of you since you evolved into a Luxio. Um, I don't think most of my time using you was as a Shinx. Anyway. Uh, we now have a fully evolved Luxray. That's cool. I might actually have to give you a nickname now. And... Can I... What is the deal with learning moves in this game? Change moves. Oh, I see. Um... Okay, so there isn't, like, a mover learner here. It's more like equipping moves in a traditional RPG. What's the checkbox, check, checkbox for? Checkmark? Is that one that I manually set as opposed to one that the game automatically set? I feel like that's probably what it is. Anyway, Air Slash is a nice thing for Yama to have. I guess, um, yeah. I can also go through the rest of my team real quick and see what moves I might want to learn or set. All right, Luke's Ray is going to learn Crunch Over Bite, definitely. And I guess they'll give you Thunder Wave over Thunder Shock as well. And lastly, Scorpy. Honestly, I would not say no to using Scorpy as the last member of my team. Um, Dark and Poison are both types that I don't have. Otherwise, Hippaladon is pure ground, right? Not, not ground dark. I think Hippaladon is pure ground. Um, and this wouldn't be the worst of type coverages, honestly. I might make that, I might make that my team. Anyway, let's see, I've evolved, evolved you. Uh, can I actually hit you on the fly with this one? Not quite. Too late. All right, we're not going to go and bother you then. There's a Drapion over there. Um, I'm going to be out of heavy balls soon at this rate, uh, because I'm having a bit of a Fine. A bit of a hard time. Oh, there. That's how I get up the mountain. A uh, bit of a hard time um, throwing them far enough to actually catch anything. Which is the whole point of them, of course. Uh, Sphiel. Interesting. Um, you moved. That actually would have hit you if you didn't move. 45 degree angle will have it go farthest. Come on. You suck. At least I have 40 of them. What's this? Is this a tomato berry? Either that or a Pukamuku. Uh, that's a pot pod. That is one of the things that I need for one of those side quests. Okay, so I can find them just like on the beach. Um, of course, I don't have to use the heavy balls. I'm just gonna roll around away from me. Oh, come on. There you go. Alright, that should catch you, right? Gotta be a lot closer for that to work, but that's gonna be a sphiel. 
I've never used a Whale Lord. I mean, a uh, Walvern. I have used a Whale Lord. On, um, what was this? Plump Beans. I have used a Whale Lord in um, an in game team on a Let's Play before in um, White 2. It was interesting. I, I kind of feel like I didn't get the most potential out of it. Um, it's not every day that you throw something over something's head like that. Okay. If I find another one, I will get a free free uh, rank up in my Pokedex for Spiel. I don't see any more, though. I'm sure if I run around, some more will spawn. There's a lot of these pods. That's a wall rain. All right, you got red eyes. You're probably a little on the strong side. Is that a shipwreck over there? That's a shipwreck over there. Let's go see what's what's going on with the shipwreck. Um, I still don't remember if I have space in my inventory for those iron chunks. I do, apparently. Not for the, uh, not for the other thing. That's a Buizel. All right, we are not going to be doing that. All right. That guy who wanted the Buizel is going to have to continue to wait. Um, oh, up there. I see a house up there. Um, I sort of, sort of assume... Maybe not a flying type, but I sort of assume that that's going to be, like, Pearl Clan or something. Excellent. Maybe that weasel will be big enough for that one weirdo. Um, and that's a Floatzel. Fully evolved Floatzel. Which does not meet the criteria. Um, hmm. I am, like, not even... have very few opinions on, which, on exactly which direction I'm running off towards. I seem to... I was sort of... Imagining that I go off down here and see what's down here see what Pokemon are down there But I guess I've ended up going off down like the end of the hand instead uh, A palm all right um, You saw me and are running away I've actually got a lot of heavy balls something's oh, that's the Mothman I mean, I could always try and try and grab one of these Mothem. Just to see what happens. Very nice. Alright, that's a Mothem. I've got one of you. Uh, if I can crouch down and hide. I don't know if... Come on. Um, I don't know if visibility in the grass is really all that important with this game. Um, bonk, right in the noggin. Thank you. There's another one over here. That that's the other Mothum that's trying to trying to hit me with something, isn't it? All right, I've actually hit a couple of you guys. Um, on the first try. Oh, I, I can't catch you when you're doing that, can I? I'll just run away then. Okay. Uh, side quest. Someone's got a side quest for me. Can I engage in side quest material when something's trying to kill me? I guess I can. Excuse me. Uh, you've seen a fella from the construction corps named Yorick. Alas, poor Yorick. Gah, this is hopeless. Where could he have gone? Would you mind helping me track him down? I'll be waiting a little further ahead. Please come see me when you have a moment. All right. So this is going to be for the Coastlands camp. I see. And... Whatever I'm going to have to do to... These are different flowers. Very magenta. Uh, those look like irises? I think those are irises. Um, okay, you're, you're trying to engage in combat with me, so that's not going to happen. Can I go up there? Not easily. Um... I have seen a somewhat suspicious lack of Pokemon in the water so far in this area. Like, I think the closest I've seen is, like, the Spiel. Golduck. All right. Um. Oh, you're the one that's trying to attack me. All right. If I can just, like, grab the Golduck, though, that would be neat. And the Psyduck down there. All right, that's going to be the Golduck. Probably. The catch rate on the heavy ball seems pretty good. Um, I haven't... I don't think I've seen anything break out of one. It's just really hard to actually uh, get it get it to land on something. 
because of how heavy they are, obviously, and how hard they are to throw. Um, but once you can, it seems like they're pretty reliable. Dust stocks over there, for example. Did you break out? You did. All right, just as I said that. You're looking at me. Did you just... Oh, okay. You're attacking me now. I thought you despawned right in front of me for a moment, but... Uh, not impressed by the heavy ball. Let's see if the, the moth can do it. Got a dust ox. Okay. Making good progress here. Uh, someone mastered a move. I think that was a Scorpy. I'll check that out later. Um, until then, I am really going to need to, like... Oh, there's the, uh, there's the shipwreck that I said I would, um... Have a look at. Let's see. You can go and deal with that tree, assuming it's something that I can actually pick up. Um, no space. All right, that is not a interactable. That is just a tree stump. Uh, Driplim. Driplim saw me. Uh, Dusclops. I think Dusclops sees me too. Dusclops sees me. Um. I don't remember if this is actually a thing or not, but if I, like, ambush you from above, you're still trying to attack me. Rude. If I ambush something from above, is it easier to catch? Hmm, you see me. Wow, you got good eyesight. I wasn't even making that much noise. Maybe it was everything else around me making the noise. So I'll see if I can shake him off. What is this? Hmm. Um, can I have someone smash it? I can. Great ball, alright. Not gonna say no to a great ball. Grain cake is something I don't have space for, though. Wow, okay. Not very stealthy, am I, all of a sudden. Uh, however, some of the other balls I have... You present a nice big target. See if I can catch you. I can. Alright, that's perfect. Got a Driplim. And... The number caught at night is going up. I can get you as well, the, uh, the Drifloon down there. Alright. Unfortunately, I was not able to get you as well. Um, and you are... Having none of my nonsense. Let's see... Did I go past the pirate ship? The shipwreck? I did. Hang on, wait. If everything can stop trying to kill me for just a moment, um, that would be much appreciated. I want to see what's going on over here. Um, after, of course, I pick up the medicinal leak. Alright, you are chasing me. Uh, sorry. No, it doesn't look like there's much over here. It would have been cool if there was something hidden under there, though. I would have definitely appreciated that. It's one of those... Just one of those spaces in games that you sort of expect to, to find something in. Uh, what about this one? Maybe this one won't, won't have something else? No. Hmm. Uh, with that said, it does... Maybe I should get away from here while everything's trying to kill me. It does cross my mind that... Um, things such as the unknown or the various will o might be found in places such as that, even if, uh, that was a pineapple berry, even if, is that a rainbow? Oh, no, that's one of those, uh, those special things. I see, speaking of a will o -wisp, um, even if it's not like there's just going to be buried treasure randomly all over the place in this game, um... How about you? Okay. I don't know if I can actually get over here. Am I going to, like, stop being, like, HP critical on my character at any point? Usually I feel like it wears off after a while, although maybe that's because there's still something that's trying to kill me. Um, let me, uh, let me wade over here, because I think this water is shallow enough to do that without drowning. And, um, 
All right. And there's 20 per area, right? That's how this works. Yeah, there's 19 wisps remaining here. Cool. So, anyway, I think I'm going to end this off here. Um, next time, uh, I'm going to... Really, I don't know, because I don't... Every time I, I make plans for something that I say I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this in the next video, I end up not doing it. So I'm, I'm probably just going to wander around aimlessly, because that's the most reliable thing that I've done so far in this game. Um... And then uh, we'll make our way eventually towards that, uh, that outcropping up there. I hope you all enjoyed that, and I will see you all later.